we spend a lot of time trying to think about how we fit in. After being at Columbia, I realized that my future was going to be determined by how I stood out. Moselle W. Thompson, Columbia College International School of Public Affairs and Columbia Law School. Congratulations and thank you. I come from pretty modest means. My father was an airline mechanic. My mother was from Tokyo. They didn't know a lot about college. I was part of probably about 5% of the class who were African American. While I was here at, at Columbia, I met at least three more people who were half black and half Japanese. I think the Corps serves such a vital purpose, whether you went to Phillips Exeter or whether you went to school in Brooklyn, you all had to go through the same exercise. You all had to look at these works and express your own ideas. At the law school, I wasn't just interested in the corporate side where a lot of people were going at the time, but also always thought about the interest in public service. I feel like we should have an obligation to leave Columbia a better place than we came. So I do a lot of mentoring. One of the things I'd like to think that I contributed to my time at the Alumni Association is the recognition that the Alumni Association would have to become more uh, diverse and encompassing. This year, 63% of the incoming class in the college self-identifies people of color. I got the Heritage Award from the Black Alumni Council. They have funded professorships, they have funded scholarships, and they've become a very important part of how Columbia views its alumni. But I also have a great affinity for the CAA. Oftentimes, Columbia is, prides itself on how strong its individual schools are, but there's a lot of connective tissue in there. <laughs> to be up on the dais and getting the Alumni Medal, I was just looking out at all these young people, smiling and excited, and thinking, 40 years ago I was sitting in their seats thinking, what was going to happen to me?